During our third day, we took the road to go to the city of Seville. The city of Seville is famous for its Mujar architecture, which is a mix of Islamic and Catholic architectural styles. After the Catholic defeated the Moors, who had ruled over Seville for more than 500 years, they kept many beautiful buildings intact like the Alcazar Palace, which then we visited. The Alcazar Palace is declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The Alcazar Palace of Seville is Europe's oldest palace in use. Its origins go back to the 11th centuries when Muslim authorities decided to build a fortress in a strategic area of Seville in order to guarantee its security. Protected by a wall, the Alcazar site is made up of diverse palaces and gardens designed during the different historical periods. This way, the Alcazar of Seville offers a wide range of styles combining elements typical of Muslim, Gothic, Renaissance, Bourgeois and art Romantic art, as well as some of the best examples of Mudejar art, products of mix of Islamic and Christian culture. I hope you enjoy. The tour given by the tour guide explaining all of the history behind the Royal El Khazar Palace of Seville. Right. So this is what is concerned that the Palazzo del Exactly. And around, there is another uh, writing in Spanish where you can read the very novel and powerful and conqueror Pedro and Peter by the grace of God, King of Castile and Leon, ordered the constructions of these palaces in the year 1364. So we can see the two rulers who made possible the construction of this, Granada inside and Castile around. Okay? And let's go with the inside. To make this section. You know, like the, you know, like the, the ceramist who made this section. It's like a start, like the trademark, the, the, okay. the trademark of this uh, of this uh, artist. Like the pose in court of the pose of. For the, example, the, yeah, the something machine. similar. The, you know, according to the meters you made, was the salary you, you earned. If you see, on one side are the Hercules pillars, and on the other side there is an eagle, a two-headed eagle, that was the, the crest of the Habsburgs. On the other head was the German Empire. He was king of Spain and emperor of Spain. So when he married here his wife, this was redecorated with his personal crest, the eagle and the Hercules pillars. On the middle of that universe, you can see again the emblems of the king, the castle and the light, and also sunglasses. Those glasses, let me tell you, that were the top detail, because they are mirrors. And the mirrors were used to reflect the light of the torches that used to illuminate this place, creating a golden effect, creating shining stars, something really spectacular. Right? 
and uh, the portraits and the balconies are not part of the original design. Right? Yeah, that was something that happened later. Where's the balconies? Uh, during the middle of This garden is almost as beautiful as your garden. Pardon? <laughs> it's almost as beautiful as your garden. <laughs> Why not the oranges? I've got apples and pears. <laughs> After visiting the Royal El Kazan Palace, we visited the surroundings of the Geralda Tower, which was formerly the Miranet of the Great Al Jama Mosque. We also Europe. made a stop at the Torre del Oro, a military watchtower that was constructed in the Al Mohad era.
Later on in the evening, we got to enjoy some amazing flamingo dance. Flamingo dance is usually associated with Spain in general, but it's an art from Andalusia, um, Seville. All the theories say that the origin comes from the cultural union of different cultures throughout centuries, including Arabic, Jews, Christian and Gypsy cultures. The majority of the growth of flamingo took place within the Flamenco tri Triangle, Cadiz, Ronda and Seville. Throughout the Flamingo Golden Age, which occurred in the 1850 and 1910, when flamingo shows become, became greatly popularized. Flamingo in 2010 was then recognized by UNESCO World Heritage and declared on the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. <laughs>